They did it, y'all. They finally did it. I didn't think they would, but it has happened. There is a such thing as a fake Creed Aventus or counterfeit Creed Aventus, however you want to call it. I'm sorry about the bad video, like, angle. I got home from work and I was not expecting to be making a video today, so I just um, didn't have anything set up. But anyway, I'll get, uh-oh, sorry, I'll get to this. Now, for you people who are familiar with Creed, you might be able to tell just by this. Look at, oops, hold on, let me take this off. Uh. Look at that. Look at that top. Or that neck. You see how thin that is? Look how thick that one is. Alright. This is real. This is fake. Okay, the neck should never be that thin on Creed fragrances. Also, look at this. Just crap. It's not even... I don't know. They didn't even do a good job on it. And it's all sticky and... This black leathery stuff has all these bubbles in it. Doesn't even feel proper. Um, the Creed, I'm sorry, the Aventus symbol is not centered on this. It's like lean in and a little to the left. On the real one, it's centered. Okay, it looks all smooth. And you can feel this texture. It's supposed to be like a leathery looking texture. If you can see it, okay, you can feel that. It's kind of ribbed on her. They tried to fake it and they faked it. You can feel it a little bit, but it's nowhere near as. Ugh, so my hair got stuck on it. This bottle has a bunch of sticky stuff on it too. I don't, I don't know what it is. Also, the real Aventus bottle has a stable foundation at the bottom. This fake one doesn't. It wobbles. Also, <laughs> this is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Okay, look at the top. You can see. Oh, oh come on, focus. That should say Creed. Now. The fake one. Oh, also, oh, I should have showed you this before. It says Creed. This is a real one. And the little hole for the sprayer is right there, right in front of Creed. The fake one. It doesn't say Creed. It says Capede. C P E E D. Capede. What in the world? And the sprayer. Is not where it should, or the hole's not where it should be. It's like over her. It's not even right. Okay. So what else? Um. The back. Looks okay, but still, this is, it has a bubble right there, another bubble in the middle. Oh yes, also, the real one, like, I don't know if you can see it, um, man, it's hard to see on this camera, but, oh, there we go. You see that little smooth square, like, little, like her, 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 and her. That smooth square. The text in that square is centered. On the fake one, the square is there, but the text isn't centered. Like you see that four ounce or four fluid ounces? The O is like right on the edge, and the Z is like outside of the square. Everything is like shifted to the right. Also, 
the bottom, you see the bevel on this? Like it's thick going all around. Okay. This is the real one. The fake one. You see it's thick down here. And it gets up here and it's really, really thin. Like it's about to break. And guess what batch number they used? The most popular one they could think of. Uh, where is it? Come on, focus camera, focus. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but it says, um, I'll try to get this, uh oh. A42 B11 Z01. Mm -hmm. And this isn't even, I don't have a bottle or a box of uh, my real, I don't have the box where this came from, the real one came from. I wish I would have saved it. I usually do, I don't know why I got rid of that one. But look at this fire symbol. On the fake one, there's a little stem at the bottom. Now I have a bottle of uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water right here, which I don't like, I hate this stuff. But for reference, look at the fire thing. There is no stem at the bottom. It's a clean symbol. Okay, also on the fake one, look, okay, I'll show you the real one first. You see this, I can't read this, it's French, but these, Last three words are separated. On this fake one, last three words are put together. All right, it's wrong. Also on the fake one, another thing, this fake one came inside of this little sleeve. This was the front of the sleeve. This was the back, picture of Napoleon. It was on, it was, well, this box was in her another big big giveaway that let me know that this is fake is that this came wrapped in plastic Crete never ever wraps their boxes in plastic all right it was like shrink wrapped in plastic and then this leaf was covering the whole thing um what else <gasps> Okay, you know how other guys made videos about fake crease and they talked about this insert where you couldn't feel like the real ones, you could feel like this gold rim around it and everything. Everything was nice, high quality. This, you can't feel it. It's, it's just cheap. Also, on this, look at this real box of Creed. Look at that symbol. It's just straight going across. On this fake one, the C and the D lie lower than the rest of the letters. You see that? But at least they actually spelled Creed correctly that time. Oh, and by the way, I bought this from a seller named... Um, Perglo on YouTube is spelled P E R G L O three. Perglo three, all one word. Okay, P E R. I'll show you. Um, there you go. P E R G L O, and he's a member since March twenty fourth of two thousand fifteen. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Yes, I hope you're watching this Pergola 3. Uh, what else? <laughs> oh, you know, and I thought at first that plastic being wrapped around here was the biggest giveaway until I looked inside of the box and saw this. Silver Mountain Water. Silver Mountain Water insert in a box of Creed Aventus. What in the world? He It's like he wasn't even trying. It's like he gave up. He's like, I don't even care. And the worst part about this is that people have given this guy good ratings on YouTube. I'm sorry, no, uh, on eBay. Good ratings. 
there was only one bat rating that I had seen before uh, Maz had arrived, and it was somebody saying that uh, the Creed of Ventus was fake. Somebody had bought a fake Creed of Ventus. So now the seller Perglo 3 has two bat ratings because I also put the uh, he sold me a fake Creed of Ventus. Um, so I opened up a case. I wanted my money back immediately, but apparently you can't do that. And I tried my best to talk to an actual representative on Utes or why do you saying that on uh, uh, eBay? But uh, they were like, "Well, you need to give the seller two days to respond." I'm like, "What? Respond? Respond for what? He knew what he was doing. He didn't do this by accident. He's not surprised." Oh, yes, the tops. Let me explain the tops. Okay, this is the real one right here. They did a good job on the tops, actually. Okay. This is real. This is fake. They did a good job. But the real one is more detailed. You can feel it a lot better. The fake one is almost kind of flat. Okay, it doesn't feel anywhere near as good as the real one. Um, but they did a good job. Uh, also, the inside. This is the real one. And the fake one is close. I remember the old fake ones. They had like, they were very different. I forgot how they looked on the inside because I haven't seen those videos in a long time. But here's the real one. It has three lines going down or divots or whatever you want to call it. You can't see it on her, unfortunately. But here's a fake. This one also has three lines, but the inside looks a little different. Like, you see this ridge going around the edge of this? This one doesn't have it. There is no ridge. Okay. It should have a ridge. And also, there's a ridge further like all the way at the bottom. I uh, hope y'all can see that. That's the real one. This is a fake one. It it doesn't really have a ridge. It, I don't know. I don't know. That's just I don't even know what that is. So yeah, a fake Creed Aventus. Let me see what else. Um. Oh yeah, <laughs> another important thing. The real creeds always have a cold. You probably won't be able to see this one, but this one says, uh, let me see, I'll read it. It says, <laughs> A42B, um, I, I think this, I think this is B1101. I don't know, it's, yeah, but it, can you see that? There's some writing, like, right there. Like, right on this edge. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, anyway, the Z01. This one has nothing. It's just smooth down there. No engraving. Oh, another thing, too. This stuff smells disgusting. I can't even describe what this smells like it's just it smells like something dead um and i haven't even sprayed uh, yeah look i haven't even sprayed this yet look how much space is up there real creeds don't have that much space they're like full to the top this stuff has space but it smells disgusting and i haven't sprayed it yet and i'm in my bedroom right now and my entire bedroom smells like whatever this stuff is and I honestly don't think that this is safe to put on human skin. Really, it's horrible. I, Y'all don't want to smell this, trust me. This, my eyes are burning right now. Uh, and it's on my it's on my hands already because like, this bottle is just, it leaks. Let me see, um, let me see. It has this fake Silver Mountain Water thing, but look at this, it leaked. So this absorbed it, and the smell is just filling my entire house. So one good thing I can say about this is that it has 
the most longevity I've ever experienced in the cologne. <laughs> so if you want something that has good longevity, get this fake stuff. You spray one spray on and it'll last you for six months. Yes, you won't even be able to wash it off. Uh, so, yeah. I think that sums it up. The only real thing about this purchase is this picture. Right there. That's the real, I mean, that's a picture of a real Creed. But the new Creeds that come out, like Creed changed its design. It used to look like this. Okay, because this is the original design and it matches this bottle or this picture. But the new Creed's, like Creed redesigned it and this is black now instead of silver. This is, um, the new one is like a mirror. Like you can see yourself in it. This one you can't really see yourself. So they changed this and this. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, and a lot of people complain about tops. They, when they get a wobbly top, they think that they have a fake Creed. A lot of Creed bottles come like that. They have wobbly tops. I don't, because Creed, I think they just focus on their actual juice, the fragrance, instead of the bottles. But some of them, I get lucky, and the top is actually really snug. Like, um, I can lift the whole bottle up by just the top, you know, so, yeah, you know, like my, uh, Creed Millicene Imperial is like that, I can just lift the whole bottle up with the top, so, yeah, that's it, and again, I'm sorry about the shaky video, I'm, I'm holding my cell phone camera with one hand, and, yeah, it's, it's not very convenient, <laughs> um, yeah, Oh, yes, and also, the real Creed Aventus boxes, like, this one is the fake one, and you see this, this this detail right here, it's very similar to the real one, but this one, it just doesn't feel the same, it's, this material is really, really soft compared to the real one, and it's just not, the real one is more detailed, it's more ribby, I guess, this one is nearly flat. Um, but the back looks okay. Like, they did a good job of, I don't know how they made it look so real right here, but they did it. Yeah. So that's all. I'm just letting y'all know. I'll keep y'all updated. Uh, I'll, I guess, in the comment section about what happens. And I don't even want to talk to that, so I just want to my money back. Now, I honestly don't want to ship it back because I don't want him selling this crap to anybody else because I seriously think it's dangerous, man. Is that something... This stuff is just not right. Y'all don't know how serious I am about this. So... I guess I'll stop this now because this video is getting too long. Alright. Bye.